Okay, now this video is about creating frequency areas within your sound uh, that your instrument naturally populates and the rehearsal space is an ideal place to find your space because um, within the sound is going to be a lot of different things happening and if what you're doing is in the same uh, sound frequency area as what someone else is doing, you either have to work together with them to establish some sort of harmony or get out of their frequency range so that you can do what you do and it, and it should naturally work together. Now this is one big mistake that a lot of people make when they get into a band. Like a guitar player will say, I really like a lot of bass on my guitar because I can go and I can move, you know, move people's hair that way, which is a great idea and I, you know, that's always fun. But what I discovered was, is it, if you can isolate areas within the sound that are where you do what is what what you do, then um, it's so much easier to clarify what it is that you do as a group. So here we go, and let's look at this. Now uh, let's start with say the drummer. Okay, so what they do is uh, those transient beats. That's where their area is. It's like boom, ching, boom, ching, and then whoosh, right at the top and the way bottom end and some of the middle with uh, the snare and the, and the toms and everything. And now, uh, just as an example, now the bass guitarist has got the frequency range right down the bottom there, around, you know, 100, 200K. That's where the dance movement's going to come from, okay? So with, your, with the drummer's kick, thump, and the bass player's frequency range, that's where the dance movement is going to be. And, and when, we, when we get into our rehearsal video, we're going to look at how you sync up your bass playing with the drummer's kick. So you've got that dancey rhythm, okay? So that's where the bass and the drummer should be sitting in there together. Now, as you go up towards guitar players, a lot of guys will like to have a lot of bass end on their guitar, but if you can define your sound a little better more often it's it's it sounds nasty by itself until you get it with the group and all of a sudden it's clear instead of what can happen in a rehearsal room is there's this gigantic mush of indefinable noise and that you know that can be likened to uh, you know just like as an artist having a brush that's this wide trying to paint a nice picture you know what I mean because you really need to define where it is you're going to live and then from within there then you can communicate with all these other instrumentalists and vocalists in the band so just as a touchstone what I would do is get a guitar sound that is fairly uh, mid-rangey or high so that you can hear it and it kind of cuts through the rehearsal sound and also with the vocal you'd be surprised how good it sounds within the context of the rehearsal space if you don't have a lot of bass on it. You'll want to sound that way to your ears as an individual. Guitar players, this goes for keyboard players too, and it also goes for acoustic guitar players, until you get in with the band. And then if you take all the bass off, guitars and vocals and keyboards, then you've got the bass and the kick drum freely inhabiting the dance groove area of your sound, right? And then, because they're the rhythm instruments, that's what you want the rhythm to do, to make the girls dance, right? Or the boys. Yeah. And then you've got all these other instruments, the keyboards, the guitars, the vocalists, um, inhabiting the other frequencies where you've got your melody and your harmonies and your uh, more complex rhythmic structures on top of this dance groove and they're not overlapping and causing um, uh, lack of definition because you really want definition you want to be just know exactly what you're doing and really hone in on it and have what it is that you're doing heard really well okay so uh, that's our video about frequency definition and I'll do uh, I'll do some uh, um, videos where I actually go and show you exactly what I mean in comparison with other instruments and stuff like that. Okay.